They were one of the most recognizable landmarks on the American music scape, and for 30 years, the Grateful Dead delivered its free-flowing form of rock and roll to a legion of devoted fans called Deadheads. That long, strange trip ended eight years ago with the passing of frontman Jerry Garcia. But thanks to a Chicago-based group called Dark Star Orchestra, one of the Dead's famous song titles still rings true. The music never stopped. Backstage at the Orange Peel, like a sports team getting ready for an opponent, these band members study their equivalent of game films. But Dark Star's not looking to dominate. Its musical mission is to emulate the legendary Grateful Dead. In another time, forgotten this is video from the Dead's final year, 1995, the Oakland Coliseum Arena, less than six months before Jerry Garcia's death. And this is DSO, meticulous tributeers who take the concept of cover band to a whole new level. For a lot of us, when Jerry died, we had kind of put the music away for a couple of years. It was just too hard to listen to. And then uh, the project just kind of came out, and, uh, and when it did, it was, it was really cool. The project involves recreating entire Grateful Dead shows, song for song, set for set, with incredible attention to detail. On any given night, the band switches out equipment, stage setups, even personnel, to match the date of the concert being played. On this fall evening in Asheville, the audience is taken way back to April 2nd, 1982, but not too far down the road. It's Cameron Indoor Stadium, Duke University. I know you're right, gonna miss me when I'm gone. It's not a vaudeville act. It's not a, you know, it's not Beatlemania. You know, it's, 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 it's really the spirit of what the Grateful Dead were doing and what they were all about. What Jerry Garcia and company were all about was live music, improvisational, in the moment stuff, plus the connection that created with the many who came to listen. Over three decades time, the Grateful Dead evolved into rock music's biggest traveling circus, always playing to crowded arenas and stadiums. Dark Star operates on a much smaller scale, but still packs clubs across the country night after night. And Mountain Deadheads appreciate what DSO is doing. They're the closest, I think, that you can get to the real thing without being there. This music was meant to be played live, and so they, they play it in the spirit that it was meant to be played. It gives you the feeling you can close your eyes and kind of pretend a little bit. It's important that the music gets recreated. That's why I still play it on the radio. That's why there's 700 people here tonight listening to this, because people love the music. That's what the dead were always about. And so it goes with Dark Star Orchestra. The music plays the band and helps keep the dead alive. DSO is just a whole <laughs> lot of fun. That's the best way to describe it. For longtime deadheads, for those who really never got a chance to see the Grateful Dead, Dark Star plays a lot. They're in this area. They're in the Carolinas a lot. They're going to be back around the end of January. Check out their tour schedule. You can find out more about them. Go to WLOS.com, click on more info, and we will take you to their website. And we know you love the music. So oh, it's wonderful. Okay. I'll, I'll have to see them again as often as I can. <laughs> okay. Experts say it's a dangerous new crop of marijuana. Learn why doctors are so concerned about it.